Hey, what's going on everybody? This is hole number nine of the Monster Tournament Expert Division Qualifying Round. For our tee shot, we want to use an APOC level four and above and a Kingmaker ball. We're going to apply 5.8 topspin with two right spin. With an APOC level five and above, we want to set up at the max line, so P3 max. And with our APOC level eight, we're going to have the blue ring touching the right rough. And you'll notice our second bounce is centered directly in the middle of the water. So with an APOC level four, Again, because you can't set up at max rest with your Kingmaker ball, you want to push into overpower such that the second bounce is in the middle of that water. Uh, from here, we're going to adjust P3 max plus 10% elevation. With an APOC level 4, make sure you push up 6 yards after your adjustment. Then it's going to be a max overpower slow needle shot, which we hit perfect. The ball's going to land in the first fairway, bounce over the water into the second fairway, and then we're going to roll out for a drive distance of... 399 yards. Make sure you take note of your drive distance as we're going to use this to determine our slider percentage for our approach. All right, for our approach shot, we're going to play with a sniper level 9 and above. Although this, pro this probably would work fine with a sniper level 7 and above uh, with the ball guide capabilities of 4.5. Um, this is going to be a no moving target shot, so wherever your ring start is where you're going to keep it. Then we're going to apply spin so that the ball guide is about one and a half square short of the hole, but in line. Um, and also a quick caveat, just, just to throw it out there. If for whatever reason, and I haven't seen this happen yet, but if for whatever reason your drive goes long, like really long, you get a crazy speed roll or something like that, and your no moving target shot has you starting in the rough, please move your rings and don't start in the rough. Um, this no moving target, approach only works if you're starting off in the fairway. Like I said, I haven't seen that happen yet, but it's possible and I don't want I don't want to be blamed because you flew your ball into the rough. Um, so again, we're using our drive distance to determine our slider percentage, which was 399 yards. So we're playing this one P3 plus 10% elevation at 35% slider. Make sure you center the ball and hit perfect. Ball's gonna land in the fairway, bounce over just over the kind of edge of the rough, and then we're gonna roll out center cut for the albatross to finish off our qualifying round. For further instructions on how to play this hole, make sure you guys click the link below and subscribe to Expert Tournament Guides through Golf Clash Tommy. Good luck in your qualifying rounds.